between Ian Crab quantum computers and superconductor quantum computers, which computer seems the most valid for you, and which computer's uh, future seem more optimistic for you? <laughs> you, you really want us to debate that point, huh? <laughs> I think in, for those founders who are starting these quantum computing companies, to some degree, you have to be fools. You have to be foolish enough to actually endeavor to tackle a very, very large problem. So by definition, if you like, ask every founder, the answer is my technology is going to win. If you don't have that, you're not going to start a company, okay? Now, I think as a scientist in my heart, I reserve the right to be wrong, meaning I believe this is right, so I'm going to do as hard as I can to actually make that work. But if some other smart person or the nature says something else is much better, I just have to be able to accept that at that point. Okay? I think this is really the two conditions. You have to be foolish enough to actually believe that you can actually make it work, but also open-minded enough that if somebody proves you wrong, you have to accept it. I think those are the two conditions and then you're off to races.